there's many of us around this country and around this world who look at the modern church and we compare it to what the Bible says we should be, uh, the way we should behave, the things we should be doing, and we're just not seeing it. We're seeing things that are more selfish uh, and more focused on building the kingdom of the world than we are seeing churches building the kingdom of heaven. Kind of what I mean by that is, obviously, the, in the word of God, Jesus tells us to feed the hungry. Yet, most churches around this country, they're not feeding hungry people, they're just feeding themselves with potlucks, dinners, Wednesday night outings on ladies' groups, that sort of thing. It's more like a cruise ship than really anything else. It's just a way to uh, just really satisfy your own needs and your own desires. Try to get what you can out of God without actually giving back. Also, we see the church focused on this prosperity preaching where nothing bad will ever happen to you. Uh, only good things should happen to you. And if you come to this church and throw your 20 bucks in the plate, then only good things will happen to you. More so. We also see the church in the United States preaching to everyone this concept of escapism. That somehow when tribulation comes, when Jesus Christ said, pick up your cross and follow me. When we look at everybody, Jesus went through tribulation. Every disciple went through tribulation. Uh, all of them were arrested. All of them were killed except for John, who was killed, but he lived through that and then was exiled on the island of Patmos. Uh, everybody went through tribulation. Christians around this world are going through tribulation right now, but we've been taught as Americans that all we have to do is kick back and God's just going to rapture us up and nothing bad will ever happen to us, which is satanic. It's prepared us for Nothing. Uh, as tribulation comes, we will not be prepared because we've been thinking we're going to escape it this whole time. But the word of God says the last trumpet, not the first trumpet. So ultimately what we're seeing is we're seeing like 90 to 95 percent of Christians just kind of following uh, satanic things, uh, doctrines of demons like lemons, just following them to a cliff of death. And there's a few of us, and I've said this many times, that if you live in a town of 10,000, there's like one or two of you that actually get it. There's a few of us that get it, but we're scattered. And the Bible said that we would be scattered. The Bible refers to us as the remnant, that in the end times, the remnant will unite, which is 144,000 Israelites and a multitude of nations, tribes, and tongues of Gentiles will unite to war against the Antichrist. But many of us, we're just sitting around looking and thinking, well, where are this? Where is this remnant? <laughs> you know, because all I see is people who are mad because their parking space wasn't there. They're mad because their favorite songs aren't being played. They're mad because their favorite preacher is on holiday. Uh, they're just focused on themselves and advancing their own kingdom. But there's a few of us that are looking at the word of God and says, the word of God says we should feed the hungry, clothe the naked, take care of the widows take care of the orphans, visit the prisoners, visit the sick. It says we should be healing people. It, should, it says there should be miraculous healing at our hands through the name of Jesus Christ. Where is all this stuff? But instead we're building these temples to ourselves, these giant cathedrals that look what I have built. And that's what we're seeing right now. And we've been seeing it for really the last couple thousand years, just getting a lot worse now. So we as the remnant meet. We meet once a month. Uh, it's God has asked me to unite the remnant as a little piece of this world that I'm in. And so once a month, on the first Saturday of every month, we meet in Centerview, Missouri at 4 o'clock at 401 South Walnut. Centerview, Missouri at 4 o'clock on the first Saturday of every month. Uh, we will be feeding people. If you're hungry, come eat. Uh, there's supplies you can get for your home. There's food you can get for your home. There's food you can get for your dog there. Uh, anything that you could possibly need, if you're short, come get it. But beyond that, just come meet us. If, if you can come just once a year, come. it's about knowing each other. Because when the end time comes, you don't want to be alone. That I know. Uh, you can't be a part of the War of the Saints alone. You might be able to survive off in the wilderness on your own, but you can't be a part of advancing the kingdom of God here on earth during a time of tribulation alone. So we meet once a month, Centerview, Missouri, 
This first Saturday of March coming up, we'll be meeting at four o'clock at 401 South Walnut. Come join us. We do post it online. Uh, we videotape it and then we'll put it online the next day. Uh, but if you can join us, come join us. There's other people like you, believe it or not. It, it feels like there's not, but there's thousands of us all over this world. It's just time for us to unite now so we're not so isolated. Join us, 4 o'clock, Centerview, 401 Walnut in Centerview, Missouri.